Matt, where are you on this idea of of, of previous extraterrestrial visits? I know that people, uh, you know, out there on YouTube at the moment, I mean, Graham Hancock kind of flirts with this idea, for example. He doesn't quite go the, the whole hog with it. But the idea that major previous moments in human history, such as the building of the pyramids, for example, was in any way given a helping hand by extraterrestrial life. Do you think that's a possibility or do you think it's more likely that we were an incredibly advanced human civilization that had a cataclysmic event and then restarted? No, it is a possibility that uh, there were visits in the past because uh, the Earth existed for 4.6 billion years. Okay, humans came to the scene only over the past two million years. Uh, so, you know, we're talking about a factor of a thousand. We came just at the end of this uh, history of the Earth. And throughout our history, there might have been visits. For example, the Earth very abruptly started to have oxygen in its atmosphere. We don't understand why. Uh, and, and 252 million years ago, the Earth went through a global warming event of the type that we are now producing with our technologies. And it was very abrupt, less than 10,000 years in duration, 252 million years ago, uh, just after the Cambrian explosion when lots of species were created. And so the question arises as to whether any of these uh, sudden changes in the history of Earth could have been triggered by visits uh, and, you know, we it's very difficult to figure it out because, uh, you know, the Earth was resurfaced uh, over the past hundreds of millions of years. We can't really tell what happened back then. But what we can do is monitor the sky, look for objects that we did not produce that look artificial. And, you know, I'm doing the best I can. Uh, I led an expedition to the Pacific Ocean to search after uh, the, f the first interstellar meteor, uh, an object roughly half a meter in size that collided with Earth and came from outside the solar system. We want to figure out what it was made of, where did it come from. And um, in addition, I have uh, established an observatory at Harvard University that monitors the sky for any unusual objects. And we now have more than 100,000 objects that we monitored over the past two months. And we use machine learning to figure out whether any of them might be uh, extraterrestrial. So altogether, you know, it's a subject that can be part of science, the mainstream of science. That's where I'm aiming. Yeah. Uh, and what I would like to say about our cosmic uh, neighborhood is, you know, uh, that reality uh, bites those who deny it, uh, you know, the best approach is to adapt to the reality and figure out, you know, what it is rather than ignore it or deny it and say there is nothing out there. You know, that is a very arrogant approach to say we know everything. We are the only smart beings that existed since the Big Bang. I don't think so. You know, I think we should search for neighbors. And by that, we will learn new things.